Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Wednesday, May 24th. Steady markets within single digits with the all-time highs in the S&P and the Nasdaq. The Dow is still lagging behind, being the dog that it is. Uh, it was up a quarter percent yesterday as far as blue chips go. Uh, S&P also up a quarter percent, and uh, the Nasdaq was steady. But what we did see there was higher highs uh, and higher lows than we saw the session before. So we continue to march along there. Other markets, we saw crude oil up 35 cents. Uh, 51.80 was the high, continuing to go-go as we come uh, uh, into the OPEC meeting, and it's gone straight up from $44 a barrel. We saw some unwinding in gold yesterday, down $6. 12.55 was a close. As the dollar index firmed some, uh, it was up 40 yesterday. We had the euro currency down 50, uh, a bit of correction there after the extended moves we've seen uh, in that market. And we have saw the dollar this week on Monday go below 97 uh, for the first time. So keep an eye on that uh, first time in more than six months. Keep an eye on that as a support point, as a pivot. So where do we stand here on Wednesday morning? Stocks are steady once again. We've got the S&P up one point, uh, the Nasdaq up 10, right there at the all-time highs, erasing all the losses. Re let's remember, it was only one week ago that we had this unkind unwind, but the market bounced back again like we've seen many, many times before. The S&P today right now is, like I said, pretty unchanged. We've got the Dow futures up 10. Uh, on the schedule here, we've got the OPEC meeting and we've got uh, crude oil made some new relative highs, got up to 51.90. Right now it's uh, down 15 cents at 51.30 and the gold market is down two at 12.53. Other things to keep an eye on here, uh, with the Fed watch numbers are showing about an 84% chance of a rate hike in June. We get some Fed minutes here this afternoon that could give the market a little bit of a push and it's going on the fifth straight day of an S&P being positive. If that does happen, it'll be the longest streak since February. So to summarize, with about half an hour to go before the cash stock market open, steady as she goes once again, the e mini S&P up one, NASDAQ up 10, closing in on all time record tip top, and the Dow futures right now up 10 as well. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.